Today at Deutsche Auto Parts, we're going to be going over installation of a crankshaft position sensor on a 2.5 five cylinder engine. Once we have our vehicle up on jack stands, we're ready to go ahead and look at the, where the location and installation of the crank position sensor would be on a 2.5. So as you can see here, our position sensor is located inside here. It has two four millimeter bolts that mount it in place. We have then these brackets that mount the wiring in place. And then here we have our connector. So what first what we can do is slide our connector off and then disconnect it. Then we can untuck it from here. And this housing right here, you're gonna pop this forward. And it should open up. And now we're ready to loosen the bolts that hold the actual sensor in place. And again, those are four millimeters. And you got to be extremely careful because these screws can potentially strip. If you strip these, you're really going to have a bad time. So you want to make sure that you have your Allen firmly seated in place as you crack them loose. And then we're going to unthread them. As you can see, our sensors are starting to loosen up. All right. Now we have our sensor out and we are ready to install our new one. Now that we have our new sensor, we're going ahead and ready to install. And one thing that might be a good choice is to get your Get your four millimeter into the one of the bolts uh, and then get it mounted in place with that there and then you can line it up like so. Now it's good to get one of them started so you know it's not gonna fall on you and then get the other one bolted in. Now, remember again, these are, these are small four millimeter Allen, so you don't want to go too tight, just snug them up. All right, now that our sensor's in, you can now route this back in. I would wait to clip that in just until you get everything routed to make sure that there's no slack anywhere. And you may want to get this sensor connector locked in place first. Ours was already falling out when we started our install. So either it had been out previously or, uh, or it fell out in some way. So. Either way, it's, you, want to, you want to have that locked in so that it's going to hold, stay in place and then lock that in place. And now click this back on and we're all set. 
Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and leave any questions, ideas, or feedback in the comments below.